this problem says 0 0.05 0 0.075 kilograms of vaporized octane with a molecular weight of 114 is mixed with 0.97 kilograms of air with a molecular weight of 29. For the total pressure of the mixture measuring at 89.1 kPa. Now assuming ideal gas, what is the partial pressure of air? Now recall that the formula to determine the partial pressure of any element within a mixture is P sub I is equal to the mass of that element, that component, times the, the um, ideal gas constant, sorry, the temperature in absolute, and as well as the volume. But our hack is to take that, that mole, mole fraction and multiply it by the total pressure which we'll try to do and see if we can in this problem. Of course, it's going to depend on what the problem statement is giving to us. So let's go ahead and define just that. Now defining octane as component one and air as component two, we have the following given information. We have that molecular weight for both components. We have the mass of each component, we have a total pressure of 89.1 kPa. So what we're gonna do is actually start with determining the mass fraction for air. Because remember, they're asking for the partial pressure of air. Now recall the sum of all the mass fractions adds up to one. So we have the following relationship established. Actually, I didn't put it here, but they all add up to one. So Y1 plus Y2 is equal to one. The mass of the mixture M, I have that highlighted there at the bottom, is M1 plus M2, which is 0 0.075 plus 0.97, which is equal to 1.045. Now the mass fraction formula, Y, y sub I is, the mass of the component divided by the mass of the mixture. Now plugging in our information for oxygen, or sorry, for air, we have 0.97, that's the mass, divided by 1.045, which is the total mass of the mixture, and we get a mass fraction of 0.928. And the mass fraction for the octane is just 0.075 divided by 1.045, which is 0 0.072. Again, our quick check, does it equal one? Yes, it does. So now that we have the mass fraction, to, if you notice back over into our partial pressure formula, we need the mole fraction. We need the mole fraction so that we can multiply it by the total pressure of the system. So what do we do? So what we're going to actually do is take this mass fraction and we're going to convert, it says convert mole fraction, but we're going to convert the mass fraction to the mole fraction. And the formula is right there stated on your screen. So we have the molecular weights for each of the components within the mixture. So all we need to really do from this point is plug and play. And doing that, we get the formula that you see right there, and we get a mole fraction for air of 0.981. So using our hacker formula, we take that 0.981, we put it against our total pressure of the system of 89.1, and we get a partial pressure of air at 87.4 kPa.